From the New York Times, United States of Thanksgiving, this is Alaska's recipe, which is Russian salmon pie. The first thing you'll probably want to do is heat your oven to about 375 degrees. Start melting some butter in a skillet because you're going to use a red onion. Chop that all up and some mushrooms. You can see the link below will have all of the uh, ingredients and everything that you'll need to get through it. It did say to use green cabbage. I grabbed the wrong one, but it still turned out okay. So go ahead and saute those onions. And then you're also gonna throw in the mushrooms and the cabbage and just cook that all down until it's wilted and all mashed together. You'll also need to cook the salmon. Some olive oil for that. Cook the salmon for about five minutes on each side um, to where it's nice and flaky. Also, you'll need to go ahead and prepare the pie crust by using a puff pastry. Um, put that together, put it into your pie pan, and then you're just gonna start adding the ingredients, starting with some brown rice and your whole gloop of salmon and all of that cabbage and mushrooms. Go ahead and put that all in together. It makes a, a nice little dish when it gets all said and done. Um, put the top on over top. It's, it's going to be full. This is a very hearty dish. So put the top on, put it back together, and go ahead and put it in that oven for about 40 minutes at 375 degrees, um, 35 to 40 minutes, and it'll turn out pretty nice for you. So I finished cooking the Russian salmon pie. That's the Thanksgiving dish from the state of Alaska. You can see it there. I'm gonna taste test it. I did make a small mistake when I was um, purchasing the ingredients. It does say green cabbage. I used red cabbage, but we'll see how it turns out overall. It's really very full, like it's a it's a heavy, hearty sort of thing. Uh, can really smell and taste the salmon, which is great. The puff pastry, which is something I've never used before, um, it works out to give a nice flaky crust. I probably could have done a better job of putting that out, but overall, this is definitely something that that I would eat on Thanksgiving. I don't think that using the uh, the red cabbage hurt the dish. Um, I'm not sure about the rice in there. I guess it's another filler. It gives it another taste. Uh, I do like the, the crunchiness from the breadcrumbs in the middle. And I probably could have used a little bit more cheese in there just to, uh, just to give it a little bit more uh, gooeyness. It's not really sticking together very well. It's kind of falling apart all over the place. But it does taste good. I like it. And I would suggest uh, making this one for your table.